So the Benin Travel Guide has got this really long reassuring section about safety and then hidden right at the end of the safety section is this one little bit called Oro and it says this One traditional practice that can pose a security risk to travellers is Oro and then it goes on to explain where this happens and it's like a long list of places including the capital city Porto Novo and um, uttering the name is forbidden obviously that's okay because we're kind of by ourselves, um, it says the Oro usually roams a village or town at night. Um, it may also go out during the day, so you don't really know when it's going to go out. Um, and if it's there, you'll hear an eerie whooping sound. Now, when I was first reading this, I thought, oh, is this like, is the author really believing in a ghost? But, but no, this is like a, a cult. And then it goes on to say, when the cult is out, you must stay inside with doors and windows shut and locked. Men caught outside by members of the cult will be roughed up. Women may be killed. So that's pretty bad, isn't it? Um, basically, then the instructions are, uh, if you arrive somewhere new, discreetly ask the locals whether the, whether the Oro will be coming out at night. If the answer is yes, best to simply leave the area, assuming that it's not out right now, which you don't know, because it could be out at any time, including in the capital city. Um, if you do end up somewhere outside, um, or if you do end up somewhere where, where the Oro is, then stay inside with all doors and windows closed and locked. Do not attempt to go outside or look outside. And if anyone offers to show you the Oro, just say no. That's good advice. But seriously, in general, this country is really, really safe and that actually doesn't happen um, really very often at all. Uh, but I just thought it was quite, quite funny that it was in the guidebook in the safety section. So if you do come, look out for yourself.